Good morning. Um, I'm introducing to you Miss Sylvie Cush. She's a dialysis patient for the past four years and more. Um, she used to be a three times a week patient, but now she's coming two times a week. Why is she yes. coming two times a week? Why is she coming two times a week? The fees to come two times a week. Financial reward? Yes. Yeah. Since you're coming for two times a week, have you seen a, a decrease in your, in your health or anything? Or are you still feeling the same? I still feel better, you know, I feel better. I don't mind I come two times a week. And that's the requires two times a week. But you, your health hasn't, hasn't gone on anymore? No. Sometimes I would just feel weak, sometimes not. Sometimes mm -hmm. But mostly his need is the little injections and the uh, eco and fresh. Make it feel better. Epogen is an injection. It's a hormone actually a substitute for erythropoietin and normal, normally patients with kidney failure does not have that produced due to kidney failure so they would need to buy that injection and it's pretty much expensive so it's actually a substitute for erythropoietin hormone. Good morning this is Ms. Shelly Al. she's been a dialysis patient for the past eight months. Ms. Shelly Al, can you tell me of some of the things that you're finding with your dialysis? How is your session going? Well, the session going all right. I get in well. How, um, how do you find your finance to do your dialysis? Well, the finance is not easy. Okay. Finance. Can you easy. explain to me, are you having help from anyone? Does no one, no help from no one. Just um, my husband and my dog to try to pay the dialysis. How much sessions for you to do? Supposed to be doing three sessions, but I could only afford two. Two times a week. Mr. Rajab, and someone from the media is here to speak to you about your dialysis, right? Yeah. How long have you been with us? How long it takes you to do the job? Yeah. Since last year. How have you found it so far? Good. How often do you dialyze? Well, before time I used to come three times a week and I cut down coming two times. What's the reason for you decreasing your session? Because it's money price mm -hmm. and it's very hard for getting money. Um, what about your injections, the eco injections and so forth? Are you able to get them? Well, when I afford it, I will get it. How have you found your dialysis from coming three times to now two times? Well, I used to do good any three times. And now? And now, I'm doing good. Is there anything you'd like to share with the people out there that might be looking at this video? Coming from a dialysis patient? Well, what I have to say, the dialysis will help me out a lot. When I used to come three times, it was very good. Now two times is very hard. I get in the swelling on the feet. I get in the swelling on the belly. Your eyesight also has been. And my lose my I lose my eyesight. Right. How is your finance currently? What position are you? In? Like what? How are you being able to? Your husband helps you out with your dialysis? Yeah, he's helped me out because I don't have to do nothing in home. Yeah. And he's helped me out. Okay. Thank you, Miss Lee. Yes, no. Good morning, this is Mr. Obindanath. He's been a patient for the past seven months. 
because they've been in that. How are you fine? How how is your dialysis going to you? Good, you know. That before dialysis it was. Okay. How often do you dialyze? Three times. How are you okay. finding the finance? How how is it? Well, like I'm a family them as assistant. That's me can work. You're unable to work, so you yeah, have finance. And, yeah, and when, as everybody know, you don't work in, so you have find money and do it. Is this the first place you do dialysis? Yes. No, no, no. I do um. I find my job at some hospital and then get Why you came over? And Why you came over? <clears throat> because they don't have the machine to accommodate the patient. Okay. So they were for the pain. Okay. Even to the other day, maybe they still have the machine to accommodate everybody. So who did the operation? They were for... Um, <coughs> they were for... Dr. Freeze is putting the cut it out, as they say. It's working now. No, this come out now. Uh -huh. And they put in the fistula here. Who they, did that? This do at um, the same center. Oh, they you organize pay? it. How uh, yeah. uh, uh, much you pay? I pay 5000 uh -huh. And then they have to do. Um, uh, After some 5000 Yeah. Okay, the fistula is done for you. Yeah, that, really? That, no. that operation cost $300,000. Yeah, I, I hear about it, but by a community center here, they try to make it possible for the patient. And, and the early time. But how, how does this benefit? Having a fistula on your arm versus having a catheter on your neck, which one you would think is better for you? The fistula better, because this one, Give me a terrible fever, yeah. infection. And I had me about like two, three months in the hospital. Gotcha. And, and then I come back here and then. Yeah. Good morning, this is Miss Angela Chan. She's been a dialysis patient for about one year. She used to dialyze two times a week and now she's been able only to be able to oh make God. it two times a week. Oh, Okay, Miss Chan, what she's been trying to say is she's finding it very hard to have finance coming for dialysis. Normally, her sons would help her out, but recently she's not having that support. During her start of dialysis, she had her vision and all of that. After a couple of months, her sight did, her sight would be failed. So, right now she's diabetes. She has diabetes. She has hypertension. She has kidney failure, and she's finding it very hard to have that support to come to dialysis. How, how much how much time is she there? Right now it's once a week due to finance, and most of the time she's been hospitalized for her condition. So she's not been able to control her health. That's fine. Is she dialysis three times? Is she is she, she getting here? You see that like, three times a week for a condition you feel. Yes, but well, once, sometimes if she can afford to dialyze like, three times, they would, the family would do that like every other week. That used to be a long time ago. She used to improve a lot. But recently, she's not having that support that one time is not enough for her. Her condition has worsened, as you can see, and that's the outcome of her not dialyzing as much as she should. Okay, Miss Shan, they're going to help you out. You're going to find a way to help you, okay? You're welcome. When should you do that? Monday? Yeah, it should be. I, I think it's Tuesday and Friday, but if she's going to come three times, we'll have to schedule for Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So she comes two times? Actually, she's been in hospital for quite a long time. It's been like two months almost. So once you're in there, I don't know how, how 
how often did I like them? Here, she used to come two times. So she'll fall back on the table. Give me your from there. No problem. My name is Mohammed Najab. I'm one of the directors of Guru Medical Center situated in Ananil, East Coast of Mara, Guyana. We have just interviewed some patients that is, that is currently dialyzing at the center. And, as, and we have been providing them with a service which we are subsidizing. This center charges $12,000 for a hemodialysis, which is the worst fee in the country. This dialysis costs per session $20,000. We, 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 we put in the other $8,000 to let it be possible. All overseas hemodialysis patients visiting Guyana, we used to charge $20,000, which we reduced to $15,000. We're still making a loss on foreign patients also. Dubai Medical Center give free medical checks by nephrologists coming out of McMaster's. We also have doctors, Dr. Dubey and Dr. Ram Mohan other doctors come with him to do fistulas, which cost around $250,000 to $300,000 each, which they be doing it free of cost. We have free laboratory service. All blood work for each patient cost $10,000 per patient per month. We give free oxygen, free heparin, free saline if required. All these costs are being borne by donors as well as stakeholders. The patients which we have interviewed just now, which have stated they cannot afford dialysis. So, instead of coming three times which is required by a patient, they attend two sessions only. And in some cases, patients come one time because they cannot get the money to borrow. And they, they would not come. They would only come one time. This decreases the patient's life and makes them more sick and causes them to die. We as the public have seen this as a necessity of which society has got us existing. So we have the, we have the society at hand as a representative of God himself. And we in society depends on society. Therefore, society needs to give back. When any person is in need and cannot afford, we are appealing to the diaspora over whatever help you can give to, these, to this center that you could sponsor a patient or you could sponsor part of a patient, or you could sponsor something, or whatever finance you could help in letting the center move forward and not be struck, cash struck. So I'm appealing to everyone outside here, whatever you can do, I am begging. For the last patient which we have interviewed, it has touched me, and I've decided that I'm going to sponsor that patient. She really needs help, and I cannot allow her, regardless of her situation, to die. Whatever I could do, I personally would do for that one. Likewise, there are many others here.
which are not at present receiving dialysis because it's stayed away, because of lack of finance. I'm asking you out there to see what you can do that we can give this help to these people. We cannot, we, we would not receive it now, but later on we will receive many times. So my last plea, I'm begging you to see what you all can do for these patients in Guyana.